You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 24 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about, uh, what, another new era? Is that what they're the, saying? The shaken, not stirred, uh, Ron Smackdown. It's probably more <laughs> stirred than shaken. I know. Well, uh, first we'll talk about TLC, which took place four days ago, three days ago, three Sunday. days ago, Sunday. Sunday, there December you go. Tw- uh, 16th. Yeah. Um, better than expected. Um, I'm going to go with better than it could have been. Yeah, it's true. Because it was, it was a lot of like good potential stuff on there, but the way that everything's been going, we kind of just assumed it was going to suck. Well, yeah, I so, guess that's, that's very I fair. I think that's the better way to go about it because yeah. if, if the storylines had been better, it could have been a very good show. Right. So it's hard to say that it's better than we expected because it should have been better. Yeah, I guess. I guess there was really nowhere but up. Yeah. Um, women main evented the show. They good did. to see. Mm-hmm. Well deserved. Very good match. Probably best match on the show. Uh, yeah. Um, I thought the world title match was very good. It was or good. The WWE title. Honestly, Sorry. I kind of kind of dozed off a little bit during it because it uh, just wasn't very. Like it was good, but it wasn't like special. I th- I thought they put on a really good show. I I enjoyed that match. Mm-hmm. Um, I definitely fell asleep during. Um, Dean and Seth. Oh yeah, it well, was not it. First of all, it wasn't in a good spot. Yeah, they got the buffer match. Yeah, which isn't, which was really dumb. Yeah. Um, so that was kind of the nail in the coffin. Besides the fact that the match, the build wasn't very. It was good. what twenty three minutes or something like it was that. Long. It went. Yeah, it and was it was long. just slow, boring. Yeah. So, well, I mean, the whole feud between the two never went into the next gear you know no because like it, it was all uh ambrose well he kept changing away. his you know oh, story and, yeah, week to true. week yeah. and then and then seth was all of a sudden in something with baron corbin during the go, go home show yeah, and but that was, was more of just oh uh, we don't know what to do oh right but so. i mean still yeah eh. mm-hmm. um SmackDown tag title match was good. Yes. Just um, still should have been a TLC match, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, that would have made sense. Yeah. Um, no, I think, yeah. I said, only one title changed. No, no, two. The IC title, Dean won. Yes. And Asuka picked Asuka. up the yes. women's title. Mm-hmm. After Ronda Rousey cost her the uh, the title by yeah. pushing over Becky and Charlotte, who were almost at the top of the ladder. They were? I, I really liked the way they did that. It's fine. I, I thought it was good yeah. because a it it we thought that they were gonna get the title off of Becky anyway yeah so this is a way they did it that made sense right. well that was my original <clears throat> thought was that Oscar was gonna pick the title up once she was inserted into mm-hmm. it and then where we go from here is a uh, mystery well it seems like based off of what they were doing on SmackDown the two of them are gonna be fighting kind of trying to get it. And I think once we get a little closer to mm-hmm. the Royal Rumble, we'll have a better idea yeah. what if, they're going with. Yeah, because yeah, if Becky wins, she should go. Or she'll go like, you know what? I want to go after Oscar, but I do have this unfinished with, business. Yeah, yeah so yeah. that would make that would make sense to me. Yeah, um, <laughs> unless they decide to actually do some sort of shaking up, and somebody goes to different shows. I mean, they really didn't hint at that, no. but. I, I think that what they're going to actually do is... Um, or we get that... What was it? Bret Hart and the British... Who was it? that? But they both eliminated each other from the Rumble. It's back in like the 90s. And you could do a triple threat with Ronda that way. When did that happen? I don't remember. It was early... Ni- maybe 95? Oh. I don't know. Like that. I, yeah, I there, was, there was something that happened where both... Well, I guess Cena and uh, Batista. Yeah, I was going to say too. that that happened, <laughs> yeah. but they just restarted the what match. What was it? I don't remember. Maybe it was Brett Luger. I don't remember. Uh, well, it might have been. It might have been that. Yeah. It wasn't ninety five because Shawn Michaels won in ninety five. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> it might have been ninety four or ninety three. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, because Austin won ninety seven, ninety eight, mm. ninety six. I think Michaels might have won ninety five, ninety six. Nah, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> Either way, it's been a while. It's true. Um, something I should know, but I don't. I don't think that they'll do that. I think whatever the match is, it'll be a singles match, or, 
or it'll be Charlotte doesn't have anything else going on, yeah. so she just gets inserted into it. It's true. <clears throat> well, the problem is, I think, uh, I don't remember somebody brought this up, but I feel like that one of the women's titles, if Asuka does defend against somebody else, it'll probably just be on like the pre-show or something like that. It's possible. You don't insert Charlotte or Becky, it's not going to be a higher quality match. But, yeah, I guess but who knows? At the rate they're going, yeah. at the very least. I wouldn't be surprised if they put Charlotte versus Asuka again. It makes sense. <coughs> so, uh, um, or, or we get Becky versus, I mean, not Becky, uh, Charlotte versus Ronda at the Rumble. Who knows? I don't see why that would happen, though. Who they, I mean, unless they have a viable opponent for Ronda, they finally do something with either Sasha or Ember or... That would make the most sense. Right. But... I don't know. I don't know. It, it doesn't matter because... We're I, just I'm, throwing stuff at the well, wall. Well, pretty much. Um, it seems like the stuff just gets closer to it. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, that's my biggest problem with Raw is that there's no real element of surprise. You have the world title universal championship that's not going anywhere it's true the women's championship is not coming off of ronda nope. the tag team title scene is a disaster it really is and the ic title is your main eventers fighting for a lower card title that because, they don't care about right it doesn't mean anything to either of them dean is you wants it because seth has it that's yeah. it yeah <clears throat> so yeah it's 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 a mess and that's i mean that was a big thing, you know, back in the Attitude Era and stuff like that. So there things was, felt more important. Well, not even, it was just that anything could happen. I guess that's true as well, yeah. You know, I mean, we had th- some of those great matches, like when Jericho faced Triple H for the world title and won and got screwed over. Remember how hot the crowd was for mm-hmm. that? Or when, you know, Jeff Hardy faced The Undertaker for the world title on Raw in a ladder match. Him. You don't get shit like that now. No, you don't. And you have, it's not like you don't have the crew to do something oh, like that. It's, it's true. Everything's just so cookie cutter now. That- I mean, on Raw, Tyler Breeze versus Dean Ambrose. Had Dean Ambrose not taken that title the night before, why not? Just take it off him. Mm-hmm. Be like, oh, shit, maybe they're really doing something. There. I thought there was a chance that they could do they, it. They could have. They yeah. absolutely could. There's no reason not to. It's, it's true. Especially, um, again, they, uh, just... That feud has nothing well, to do with the, the IC thing. title. You could have just had Seth, who was dressed up as one of his guards anyway... Attack Dean from behind. Mm-hmm. Tyler picks up the victory. That feud still continues without the title, yep. and there you go. Mm-hmm. And you give opportunity, a word right. that came up a lot over uh, Raw and SmackDown. Yeah, to uh, to more people. Mm-hmm. So uh, I don't know. So yeah, the the opening of Raw was the McMahon's uh, coming All out. All four of them. Yes, coming out separately. Yeah, I was like, oh man, they're gonna just bring out the whole roster. So, We're gonna. Uh, Kill that three hours easily. So, funny enough, I turned Raw on at 10 after 8, mm-hmm. and Baron Corbin had just come out. And then they cut to commercial. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird spot. Yeah. Uh, but they basically say that they haven't been doing their job, and, you know, we're supposed to change with the times. We've always talked about being progressive and all mm-hmm. this other nonsense. I was like, okay. Yeah. And now uh, now they know who the ones that should really be in charge, and it's the fans. So, you know, when the crap is bad, they're going to just blame the fans now. And yeah, I guess that's be, true. That's just going to be... This is what you guys wanted. Right, right. Yeah, I guess that's a good scapegoat. We didn't want a three-hour Baron Corbin match. Stop doing this to us. <laughs> um, yeah, and then... Corbin comes out, right? Mm-hmm. He wants his job. You got to give me another chance, guys. Please. Yeah, and then Stephanie played up the crowd. What? The old man's is a little hard of hearing. What are you guys... I mean, they were booing the hell out of him. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> my favorite part is this. Well, and then they say, okay, yeah, you can have your job back if you beat this man. And then Kurt Angle comes out. And it's like, we just saw all this shit last night. You guys just talked about all this new stuff, opportunity, mm-hmm. new faces, everything's shaking up, and then this happens. Yep. Yeah, the, the this whole segment <clears throat> with the the match that followed this yeah. was pretty much the night before. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> Almost exactly. Yep. Yep. Because Heath was the ref, and mm-hmm. then it became a handicap match. Yeah. Because Bobby Bobby Roode, Gable, uh, Gable, Apollo, and Apollo came out. Yep. No Balor. And no, no Balor. Oh, with Apollo was there. No, no, no. You're no. right. No. Yeah. Yeah. And then they started beating him up, and Heath turns around. He's playing with the turnbuckle just because he can't see mm-hmm. what's going on. And that's and, when they made it no DQ, yeah, right? And then I think Shane came out and said it was a no DQ match. Yeah. 
So, obviously, Kurt Angle and company won. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Shocker there. Yeah, so Corbin will not be in charge anymore. Nope. There's no general managers. That's what they said. So it's going to be, I guess, a lead by committee type thing. Which ultimately, no, we're in charge. No, what ultimately means is that when Vince does crazy <laughs> stuff, he doesn't have anyone to blame anymore. I guess that's true. So, because it's still going to happen. Oh yeah, it's not going to change. Yeah, Th- this sure. show literally was a normal RAW. Oh yeah, minus that beginning part and the main event. I, I guess that but was, it was it was lazy. They've done it before. Oh yeah, I know, I know. So, but all right, so. We're not going to go through everything and everything. No. But, yeah, Dolph and Balor had a match that was stemmed from uh, the night before. Mm. Yeah, when, because Dolph got involved in right, Balor's match with McIntyre. McIntyre, the, the match, which still was dumb that McIntyre lost. He shouldn't lose matches like that. Um, I get the what o- they were going for, yeah. but McIntyre shouldn't lose. They I was going to say, the only thing that could do is just make him angry. Yeah, I guess Which so. Which kind of, I guess, invigorates him. He's already angry all the time. Yeah, but at the same time, if he wins, he's proven right, and then why does he want to continue? You know what I mean? So that's, I guess that's, that's really the only thing I can yeah. think of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's um, true. But yeah, McIntyre gets involved in this match. Yep, so they make triple threat for, I think, next week. Yes, which Raw for season, next so. week was taped after this Raw, so those poor bastards had to sit there for almost six hours. <laughs> yep. Um, bad. Yeah, and then Dean had an open challenge for anybody not named Seth. Yep. Tyler Breeze? No, and he didn't win. No, but of course not. Not a surprise. Um, we, but we, before, Dean comes out with his henchmen mm-hmm. or whatever. I'm just Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, mentioning yeah, yeah. right, right, right. Because, like... Well, we, we talked about it a little before. Yeah. But, because um, after the match, after Dean wins, Seth re- reveals himself to be one of them and mm-hmm. attacks Dean. And, Which I've everyone saw coming. Oh, obviously. yeah. I was hoping maybe Fandango was going to be one of them. That would be I don't funny. think he's cleared yet. Probably not. I would imagine if he was, Tyler Breeze wouldn't be doing this. He'd be no. doing cash and police segments. That's true. <clears throat> yeah, he recently, what, had... Uh, there was an open challenge against Ricochet. Yes, right? he, he he challenged for the uh, the Euro- North, North American Euro- North American. There, there you go. go. It was something like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, for the North American mm-hmm. title. Um, we did learn that there won't be any uh, mandated rematch clause yes, anymore. That's, that's that what was, I was a gonna, positive thing. Yeah, um, because I think it was AOP and um, and Drake Maverick came yep. up to Shane mm-hmm. for some reason because they want their rematch. No, it's just funny <laughs> that it was Shane that they decided to. Yeah. It does make sense, but on the SmackDown side, Shane was the only one who was on TV besides Vince for a little bit. Right, right. Um, so they go up to Shane and they say, oh, well, we get a rematch because we lost. Mm-hmm. And Shane's like, nah, it doesn't work like that anymore, which nope. is good. Yeah, hey, that's fine. It's, uh, we've talked about this before. It's kind of dumb. We don't need to see the same match we just saw. Yeah. And generally, it happens the night after. Yeah, so it's kind of kind of dumb. And how many times does the title change back? Not very often. No. And... And Drake, Ma- Drake Maverick was the reason why AOP lost anyway. Mm-hmm. So it's not like they, they won had... it in a handicap match and lost it in a handicap yeah, match. <laughs> so, um, but he says no. But you will get an opportunity. Yep. We're going to have a fatal four way tag match to determine the number one contenders. Mm-hmm. And that was what the B team, AOP, the Revival, and um, Lucha, Lucha House, House Party. Party. Yeah. Oh, they also said that there will be no more Lucha House Party rules matches. Yeah, they said they said that before the. Uh, but I guess before the tag match started. Does that mean they're just going to take them off Raw and not have to worry about it? No, I think they're just not going to humiliate the Revival anymore. I, think that's I guess so. Is. We so, know you fans like these guys. Yeah. We don't know why, but we know you like them. So yeah. I guess we'll just have them win that match. Yeah, I was going to say, surprisingly enough, the Revival actually won a match that mattered. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. We don't know if it will actually result in anything they have a tag match next they, week they do have a title match yes. but i'm just saying like oh it could like, just be yeah, like yeah. uh them squashing getting squashed by rude and gable oh god i, don't, I hope not so um lashley shows his butt again yeah there's a shocker that's so bad it's what the crowd wants to see mm-hmm. um so what else oh yeah now again corbin and rollins had a little back and forth backstage yep. uh-huh. And they'll this have a is match. all your fault. Yeah, they'll have a match next week because we didn't just see this match last, last week. week. Um, yeah, Rollins knocked him out, though. Right. 
So I guess he didn't yeah. really like that Corbin blamed him for everything. But not That's not fair. like I. This is gonna be like a few weeks of Corbin just getting absolutely yeah. squashed. Mm-hmm. So which is fine. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's just what it is. It mm-hmm. doesn't really matter. Yeah. Well, you know, he's got heat, so the fans are gonna. Oh, he does. They're gonna try to play off it as much as they can. That's fair. Um, and then we have the main event, which started at ten o'clock. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I had, I had no problem with no, this. No, no, no. They did well. Ronda came out and had, was gonna issue an open challenge. Yeah. Well, first she said something about Charlotte and um, Becky. I try not to listen when she talks. I, I it's know. Bad. But what she what she said. Well, I, I just I just really hate the way like she comes out and she's all smiles and everything. Then she's on the microphone. Then she's Brr. all angry and then smiles yeah. and it's not like, very hey. consistent. No. Are you on the same medicine that Vince is on? <laughs> So, but yeah, she says that uh, she's going to... Did she write something about writing a next chapter in their book or something I like that? I thought she said that at uh, TLC the night before. Oh, okay. But yeah. I know it was said. Yeah, I when just don't remember said? when. So, basically, she says that, like, yeah, I got you guys. Mm-hmm. That's about it. And then um, she has an open challenge because right. she wants to defend the title. Yep. And then Stephanie comes out, I think. I believe it was her, yes. Yeah, Stephanie comes out, and she says that... Oh, no, that's not what happened. They cut backstage. Oh, right, and all the all women the, are in Gorilla. Yeah, 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 yeah. they're all saying, oh, p- play my music. No, play <laughs> my music. And then Stephanie walks through, and it's like, oh, you, come with me. Mm-hmm. So they all came out, and then uh, Stephanie goes, okay, we're going to have a gauntlet match, and whoever wins will face Ronda Rousey. We're going to have an eight-woman gauntlet match, and there were ten women present there. Is that true? Oh, no. well, the whole Riot Squad yeah, was there. Yeah, the Riot Squad was there. And then you didn't have Tamina and Naya. No. Which is crazy because then I thought, holy crap, I, they have more women on the roster than I thought they did. They do. Yeah. Um, so um, we have this match. It made it seem like the main event was going to be Ronda versus whoever. A little bit, yeah. But during the match, they announced that that match is yeah. going to be taking place next week. Which yeah. is which literally the just, winner had to wrestle her the same night, so. Yeah, so. I think it, I'm pretty sure it was. I know, actually, I should say I know it was Bailey and um, Alicia Fox starting. Mm-hmm. Bailey knocked off Alicia Fox. Yep. And Dana Brooke came in, right? Yeah, and then Bailey knocked her off too. Mm-hmm. And then Mickey James came out, uh, who knocked out Bailey. Right. And then I think Ember was next. Ember knocked out Mickey, and then it I was. I think Mickey has wrestled the most matches on Raw for probably a female. Yeah, I think she. Uh, overtook Trish Stratus's uh, reign of oh, you just mean in yeah, general? In, in, yeah, in, oh, in okay. raw history. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's I, just, I thought you meant like this year. No, no, I no, believe no, that no. too. Yeah. Um, no, I think Finn's not out of, the, out of everybody. I think Finn's wrestled the most matches. Well, if, if the women, if you're who you're talking yeah. about, it could very well be Vicky. Possible. So, um, anyway, uh, Ember loses to Natalia, and then Ruby comes out, who also gets pinned. Mm-hmm. And, and then Sasha's Sasha, list. yeah, and she made Sasha tap to mm-hmm. the sharpshooter. Yeah, um, I mean the, the for the most part, it wasn't bad. No, um, I, it I wasn't no the problem. quality of the uh, the men's when they did it. Well, well, back. But that's you, I, know, I know, I know, I know. That's not very fair. I know because that know. was the their main event people. That's true. That's except true. for Elias and. Um, that's true. Yeah, Elias but was I, the only weak one. The problem point is, is that they don't do a very good job with the women. Everything no, is, but that's fine. No, I, I know, but I mean, they, they did. Now, they did the best they could. Yeah. No, the the main match with Natalia and Sasha was good. Yeah. I didn't know who was going to win. No. I, I, you know, I mean, what well, now we know who's going to win. Cause Natalia picked it up, like you said, and then yeah. she's going to face Ronda. Mm-hmm. And they Ronda came out, and they were all smiles and everything. Yeah. So. But it was the right decision. Absolutely. Um, it's just you know. If, things. if you're going to have stuff that doesn't mean anything, make it seem make like it, it doesn't mean something. Mean, no, make oh. it seem like it doesn't mean like anything. Because we know Ronda's going to win. Yeah. Don't have a blood feud over a match that's meant to just kill time. Right. Like, what's the point? I mean, they could have done something really cool. And, like, if they were going to shake things up for real have charlotte come over that would and make cost sense ron to the title yeah that's an easy way to get the title off of her yeah which is that, which is fine yeah. but obviously their goal 
is to, while, I guess, trying to shake things up, still keep everything copacetic. Yeah, I and guess leave that's it, true. leave it status quo without it making yeah. it seem well, that way. I mean, to be fair, they have two weeks of tapings after this. So, I mean, yeah, the well, new that's, year that's my is, point, yeah, 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 This yeah. is a dead time. No, right, right. But Nothing I'm saying the new should year really is happen. when we really should start to hold accountability, yes. I guess. Um, all right, so they also talked about new faces coming and listed was what was it Lacey Evans, EC3, Nikki Cross, uh Laura Sullivan, um Heavy, Heavy Machinery. Machinery. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um which is funny cuz I was listening to Meltzer and Brian Alvarez earlier. I was ah. just waiting for you to come over. I was just looking for stuff to listen to. And since we don't watch NXT no. TV, it seemed like most of these people were in some sort of program. So I don't know like when mid program. Yeah, really. Like yeah, they were like they said something about a heavy machinery finally almost getting you know to the tag titles. Um, EC3 is in a storyline with uh, the undisputed era. I thought EC3 got hurt. No, he was back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and what else was there? Lacey Evans was in a fatal four way to determine the number one contender and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's Nikki seen, it, Cross is probably feuding with Alistair Black. No, not Alistair no, Black. Johnny Gargano. I don't know. <laughs> that I don't know. But yeah, no, it seemed like, look, again, this was just me listening to somebody else because they watch this all the time. Mm. And I don't know how soon things would actually happen. And it was just a, an odd choice of people. Oh, it people. was a very odd choice. I mean,. Lacey, she seems like, I don't know, her character seems very indie to me. Uh Like, it's something that would work on the indies in a smaller Uh level. Because she kind of lives the character, like everything. Yeah. So, I mean, who knows? It could be, you know, like an Elias thing. Yeah. EC3 is a main roster character. Yeah, he'll be fine on the main roster. Uh, Lars Sullivan is a main roster character. Yeah, I just don't know. Again, you pointed it out a couple weeks ago. He's a big guy, but he's not a big guy. Like, he's like wide, wide but not yeah. tall. Yeah. Very strange. Yeah. He's he's, he's not... the single AOP. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I don't. I, mean... I feel like because when they announced it, they made it seem like all six of them were going to RAW. Yeah, it was weird. And then we saw the same commercial. Or so whatever. that means they're not all going to RAW. And if I had to guess, I'd say um, Lars, EC3, and Nikki are going to SmackDown. And Heavy Machinery and um, the other girl, yeah. Lacey Evers, is going to yeah, If yeah. they split them in half. Right. Um, but, yeah, no, because SmackDown definitely doesn't need any tag teams. They're, no. They're finally utilizing other tag teams, yeah. even if it was just for this week. Yeah. But. Um, the best tag team. Yes. But, I mean, the tag team scene on Raw is just. Abysmal. It's bad. It's bad. But, I mean, I don't see Heavy Machinery really. But it's another team. It's true. That's what it is. But again, it, you don't know what you're doing with the people you already have, so let's add another person to them. It's it's just it's weird. It, it, and, and when you think about it, the the vision as a whole really isn't that strong to begin with. It's just vision? you. Ha- no, no, the just all the tag teams. Oh, oh, oh. Raw and SmackDown. I'm about the company. No, no, no. <laughs> um, because like the New Day, the Bar, and the Usos are killing it, mm. but like they're not really like traditionally like the best tag you know what i mean like they're very good now yeah but like if you went look oh, if, back if, yeah yeah like in like, history yeah if you looked back at this tag team division like three years ago with mm. the people that are in it because they're all they all were around right like this would be a joke more so than it is now yeah, i guess so so um but that, that's probably why they didn't have them in a tlc match because it would have overshadowed other things true you know yeah. I mean, it's like because AJ Styles being on the middle of the card because they don't want him to overshadow the main event. Yeah. Yeah, it's fair. Because, you know, that match would have been fantastic. The three teams put on great matches as it is. Mm-hmm. And some elements in there. That's true. Yeah. But whatever. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, All right. Moving on to SmackDown. Sure. Shane has a pep talk with the, uh, I guess, the entire roster. Yeah. It was funny because they, yeah, well, he was, I guess, relieving Paige of her duties and yeah. thanking her for doing a good job. And they were all clapping, saying, thank you, Paige. It was it was, it was corny. awkward. And then you just see Andrade looking at him. What the hell are you guys doing? Well, he doesn't speak English anyway. So. <laughs> um, you had uh, Xavier Woods and Big E eating mm-hmm. something. Yeah. 
It was a piece of meat. I was really hoping they were going to hand it to Daniel Bryan. Which would have been or funny because they, they were standing right Rub next to him. some juices on him. So. But yeah, that was a dumb opening, but it was just Shane saying, oh, this is a new era, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was just the same crowd. Where were they, in Sacramento? Mm, I guess, I think so, I think because right. Daniel Bryan made mention of it yeah. at what later on. We do know Sacramento applauds their polluting. It was so dumb. Well, so dumb. But it just. It's just. It's you got to go dumb. against what the bad guys say. That's it. That's all it is. It's just weird. Yeah. But I guess anything that's. When you've become an extremist, I guess you're automatically to the bad side. Yeah. Absolutely. Which, yeah. Absolutely. So that's the, the route they're going mm-hmm. here. Yeah. But yeah, the woman's comes out. Come come out. I guess the woman's okay. is. is Becky, Becky and Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte. Yeah, and Oscar. Well, Oscar, yeah, eventually comes, came yeah, out. Because they yeah. take turns. Yeah. Yeah, because Becky says stuff, then Charlotte says stuff, mm-hmm. and then Oscar says, I am champion. And then and that's all she said. the old man comes out. Yeah, which is a little surprising. Yeah. Because uh, Vince doesn't really show. <laughs> Who are you guys? I don't, I don't work on Smackdown? this show. Smackdown? What is that? What is this crap? This is the B show. I know it's a copyright that I own thanks to The Rock, but that's about <laughs> it. <laughs> I mean, if they really wanted to shake things up, come on, give us some different sets, you know. The fist. Some, the fist is fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe some pyro. Yeah. Remember that thing we uh, missed? The pyro I don't care as much about. No, but I, I, I think I would a like, lot of people really are, yeah, are mad about no, it. I know. It's just like AJ's I, entrance without the oh, pyro. Yeah. It's like Same thing with Brock Lesnar's. Yeah. Who? <laughs> yeah, I guess, but his entrance was the pyro. It's true um so uh but to your point with the with the sets like it would be nice if the pay-per-view sets weren't exactly the same as the raw set yeah so it's true i mean obviously it's cheaper and since we're making more money now we're going to be even cheaper than of course we were. um yeah I, I would like to think that they're paying the wrestlers to compensate not like no, to, well, to, i'm sure they are being no i mean i mean like well, the but. part of the reason why they're being cheaper is because they they're like i guess their uh payroll is a lot uh, higher you all it yeah, probably they, is they sign everybody yeah so i mean do you think they're just going you know up to high-ranking independent wrestlers and going yeah we're gonna give you what uh so-and-so makes in nxt no i'm sure some of them take less than they might worth they might Wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I'm, I know it's a significant jump in pay from NXT to the main roster hole because NXT is just bleeding money every year. It's true. So it's better, but it, it's not financially better. No, 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 no. But I guess when you're making all this money, that's like we got the Saudi money. That, that takes it's, care it's, of all that. It's true. Um, but yeah, I think Vince comes out and tells or tells Asuka he, she's going to defend her title. Yeah, she says, do you want to defend your title, yeah. right? And then Becky was like, yeah, triple threat, which they had a triple threat the night before on a uh, SmackDown house show. Oh, okay. Which, how is that an- another thing? Wow. So they're complaining about live attendance, yet you're running a Raw sh- you know, <laughs> SmackDown house show on the night that Raw is. They do it all the time. No, I, I know, but I think I mean, they do it every week. Yeah, yeah, but... It's stupid. I know. I, I, it doesn't make any sense, no. but they do it. Yeah. Um, so they they're not gonna have that triple threat. It's just gonna be Asuka versus Naomi. Yeah. Apparently. Vince, you know, I guess he said who wants to come out and get a shot at the champ or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, that was weird. Mm. Because he looked confused. He didn't know what was going on, I don't think. He's so old. Yeah. So but yeah, Naomi comes out, they have a match. Um it was a pretty good match. Yeah, yeah, that um, was fun. It looked like Naomi kicked oscar right in the head mm-hmm. was it outside the ring yeah yeah um, um but wait. they there was some history between the two of them they were just a tag team for they a were. while mm-hmm. so you know it's fine it makes sense oh yeah it, it was a good match yeah no but i mean the reason you know it's yeah, not like no, you yeah. just had mandy rose come out or something like it's that true she came out randomly later she did <laughs> oh you know that was all thin right uh-huh. there. i know so uh naomi taps the oscar lock no surprise nothing else going on with nope. that um, the, got a backstage segment. The Miz goes up to Vince, asking for his blessing, blessing. to team yeah. with his son. Vince does <laughs> goes. I don't do blessings. Wait, are you two on the same team? That's how yeah, yeah, it was. Me. It was weird. It was. <laughs> Random picture of the Rock on the wall. Yep. 
Um, Coming back. So we're going to win the Royal Rumble. It's possible. That's what the rumors are. Or at least some rumors. <sighs> uh, let's see. Uh, apparently, this Je- uh, Joe said he was going to apologize to Jeff. Jeff comes out, I want my apology. <laughs> and then Joe comes out, he's like, oh, it wasn't an apology. It's an intervention. And then Joe just goes to attack no, well, Jeff. And- Jeff says, this is for all your shortcomings. You're basically doing this to me because of all your shortcomings yeah. because you haven't won a title. And yeah. I'm like, he barely wins a match. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> so Joe goes to attack Jeff after this. Jeff counters to a twist of fate, and then he leaves. That's it. So dumb. See you later. So dumb. See you later. They really, he just needs to go. <laughs> so Send him back jump. to Impact. <laughs> Send back where he belongs. Oh man, you just hate some. He's so show. he's so poorly used. Yeah, but how many? It, other I don't people care are if it, poorly utilized. No, he's he's worse. <laughs> he is he is the worst used. There's nobody worse than him. Former NXT champion. Yes, just, there is literally no one else who has used more poorly. I mean, Bobby Roode is a champion. Yeah, he did win no, the U.S. No, title. No matter what he did, yeah. he was not used this bad. Oh yeah, no. Because Joe's never won a feud. He's been no. He's <laughs> been put into high profile matches yeah. and made to look like a fool. Yeah. That's it not lost Roman, AJ, yeah. Seth. Hmm? Who else was there? He uh he got lost to Brock Lesnar. Lesnar, yeah. They built him up. They built him up and then they destroyed him. Yeah, and did the same thing to Braun too. Yeah. So it it's not like he's And he's not gonna beat Jeff Hardy. No. <laughs> Because it's like he was in the um, when Rude was like doing like the lower yeah, card yeah, matches. Yeah, had that fatal. At least and, it yeah. was making sense because he was like he was like just being. Yeah. Joe Joe is just they they're using him and then just going eh. Well, yeah. I mean, the problem is is there's no rhyme or reason on how they bring up NXT stars like. Finn, former NXT champion, brought up automatically in the world title picture. Someone like Bobby Roode brought up, and he was what facing Dolph Ziggler, and then he got to the big title. Everyone faces Never... Dolph Ziggler. When it's they true. Come up. Shinsuke, yeah, did the same thing. So did um, um, Corbin. Mm-hmm. There's probably more. Oh, I'm sure there was. <laughs> He's the uh, the guy that helps put you over. He's the gatekeeper. Yeah, I guess so. You know what gate he wasn't watching. The gate to the SmackDown basement. Oh. Because the tag teams were let loose. <laughs> Gallows and Anderson on the show. They had uh, the um, colognes in the opening segment, or at least you could see Yeah, them. you could see them, but they weren't seen at ringside. No. Like, we're not ready for you guys to no. come out. We're not, we're not doing that much of a drastic change here, yeah. guys. Um, yeah, because what the Usos? Oh, I guess we could talk about the mixed tag first. Yeah, I was gonna say you skipped it, but we could we have. Don't have to back. do anything in order. Yeah, it's true. Well, I was gonna say we just go back to it. Yeah, but I'll forget. Okay, so um, when Miz went up to Vince, he said that he, you can prove your worth if you win a tag match tonight. So, you go. Oh, I bet you it's gonna be our truth. <laughs> and then, what did you say? Uh, I don't remember what I said. You, you said some. He came up with the nickname, and then I texted him back, "The Awesome Truth." He's like, like yeah, "Oh, that yeah. sounds good." And then I sent him a picture of the Wikipedia <laughs> entry. For, like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, "Well, it happened already." Wasn't so, watching then. No, neither was I. But I knew about it. Yeah, well, I knew about it because I watched all the crap. But, I used to hate the Miz. Uh, he 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 was not good no. at one point. So well, I mean that's. Oh, part of it falling out. What the hell are you doing with a reality TV star? What is this, David Arquette? Yeah, man, you know, we know about that now. Yeah. Hey, he's <laughs> wrestling on the indies, yeah. death matches. It's true. So the Miz comes out, doesn't know who his partner is. Um, apparently it's Mandy Rose. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, weird. Corey just dying. Yeah. So I had no problem with that. And it's well, a mixed, they, mixed tag match, and obviously face. trying to promote, I guess, the winners of the mixed match challenge. Sure. Um, Corey Graves loves the no. Was it was it Corey what? who loved the idea of our truth picking uh, Stanford for the? I, I might have. I been. think it was. Yeah. So, so yeah. Um, but the Miz and uh, Mandy Rose win. Yeah. Well, the, the best, and that was another thing that they did back in the Attitude Era, which was nice. This was a minute, match was a minute and a half. Everything was short. 
There was no drawn out yeah. thirty minute matches on Raw, which is fine for somebody who's interested in the wrestling aspect. But I'm sure the majority of the TV viewers are they just somewhat casual. Yeah, they just want to be entertained. I I have a short attention span. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I tune in and out with a lot of things. I mean, if you have a lot of things going on, it's gonna pique my interest because I'm like, oh, well, maybe because I... you got to pay a little more right, attention. Right. Exactly. Maybe Cause... I don't want to sit on my phone for this whole match yeah and... very much like on raw when that gauntlet match was going on if you you have two options either you can watch the whole thing through because you knew at the very least it was going to be long yeah oh yeah so you could either watch the whole thing through if you were really that interested mm-hmm. or if all you cared about was who won right you can do something else for about a half hour yeah. and then turn it back on so that's True. that's the that's the hard part mm. because you know nothing's going to happen between A and B that's going to be worth right. tuning into. It's all about how it ends. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but whatever. That's true. Um, now back to the tag team division. Yeah, the Usos come out and they call out the bar. But they get the club. They do get the club. The yep. Good Brothers say so we've been locked in this basement long enough. <laughs> Finally saw the daylight. It's true. Gatekeeper wasn't there. Yeah, broke free. Uh huh. So uh, they have a match, the club versus the Usos. Mm-hmm. Apparently, it was approved by the McMahons because they made the announcement. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> they got to get a telephone. That's so what they got to get at ringside. And no, they're going to have the anonymous the general manager again, <laughs> where you're going to get the text tone. <laughs> they'll then... just take a random fan out of the audience and put them in the booth. What do you want to see tonight? Yeah, that works. Oh, and uh, when we had the mixed tag match, our truth thought Mandy Rose was uh, Maurice, which was hilarious. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> and then when Mandy Rose was leaving, she looked over at Corey, and Corey was getting all excited, and he was basically sitting on Tom's lap at that point. Yeah, he was, like, they cut to, like, <laughs> like Get some... away from me. Yeah. Why are you so close to me? She looked at me. Yeah. Uh, it's very funny. Yeah, there, there is some entertainment in the show, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, it seemed like this episode in particular, they did a lot of comedy-driven stuff. Like yeah. The Miz. With Vince yeah. and stuff, yeah. Um uh rusev making fun of shinsuke i think we glossed over that yeah um and then shinsuke making fun of um rusev Rusev was also calling him the total diva yeah so that was another attempt to be funny right so um right and then what did the new day have some holiday special tonight right looking uh, back at the year or i think it's tonight um but yeah um the oh yeah that's right so the bar come out because we never finished the match the bar come out, and then Sanity comes out from the crowd yep. and so the attacks match. him, and the match gets thrown out. Yeah, so what are they going to do? The same thing they did on Raw, and we're going to get a fatal four-way to determine the number one contender? Hell yeah! You know I don't, I don't know. Right. It, it could be Sanity versus the bar. Yeah. And then the Usos and the club were kind of just used as... Maybe. Because, like, Eric Young went, oh, we beat you to it, or something right, like that. Right, right, right. So, it would well, kind of make sense. There's no... Uh... No shake up until the colognes are on SmackDown. That's the way I'm looking at it. Sure. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, the, the club said this first match on SmackDown since, since August. August. That's um, crazy. believable. Yeah. I'm going to go with believable. Were they even being used on the house show circuit? I don't know. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. No. Like, I'm sure the Ascension wrestle is on house shows. Yeah, sometimes. probably. I haven't seen them on Raw in quite some time. Nope. Which is, well, no, that's probably not true. Yeah, maybe it probably a, hasn't been that two long. Two months. Yeah, probably hasn't been that long. Which one do you think about it? It's it still is a eight while. episodes. But I, I feel like it's probably a little bit less time than that. Because they've had a lot of, like, just weird matches. Remember when it was Bobby Roode and them against yeah. the Ascension? Yeah. It couldn't have been that long ago. No. So. No. Anyway. Uh, the main event was Daniel Bryan and Andrade Cien Almas mm. versus... Uh, AJ Styles and Mustafa Ali. This was pretty much the first match where they might have listened to the fans or something in that nature. But just the way that the match was set up or the Well, like, the people, uh, people have been it. complaining about not seeing Almas on TV. Ah. And, you know, Daniel Bryan and AJ have something going on, which makes sense. And they're uh-huh. two of the, you know, biggest stars on SmackDown. And then Mustafa Ali, after everything that happened last week, and he has been promoted from 205 Live... To SmackDown. Yeah, it's uh, a little surprising. Yeah. Especially because you would think that some of the other ones would get... Not that they're better, but just, like, the way that they're presented. 
Yeah, I, yeah. Like, I wonder like, what, what 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 it was that. Not a clue. Yeah. Or the only thing I can think of is that Vince watched SmackDown last week and said, "Who's that guy?" <laughs> that that's the literally the only thing I, I can get think here. Of. It's seven fifty nine, right before <laughs> SmackDown goes on the air. I don't care what happens if, if he's there at all. <laughs> uh, he's said to be at SmackDown. I don't know. Can't prove enough. I get two hours of sleep in there from 8 to 10 p.m. on Tuesday night. There you go. <laughs> so, so, um, but because uh, my point was more of like, there's some other like people who just seem like better main roster fits. That Mustafa? like Cedric yeah. Alexander would kind of make a little more sense. You like mean the, that guy Neville, that guy too. <laughs> uh, Drew Gulak, Austin Aries when he was there. Yeah, they just seem more. I guess main roster. Oriented. Yeah, but I think Mustafa will probably be like that super baby. You know, I mean, you oh, feel absolutely. like that's yeah. They don't really have that on SmackDown. Not. They don't really, really have, have that anywhere. Baby. I guess that's fair. So, the only the you had that with Johnny Gargano mm-hmm. before he turned heel. Right, that was it. Yeah. So, and obviously had it on two hundred five live between uh, Ali and cedric yeah, yeah yeah so but you know whatever yeah uh amazingly ali actually pins daniel bryan yeah with the inverted 450 splash yep and he hit some uh he didn't land very nicely um it happened people were wondering if well, everybody was freaking out they're like oh great mustafa's gonna have to change his finisher now daniel bryan's hurt that's, so on you know, and that's, so forth that's a, a legitimate it, concern no, yeah though. yeah absolutely well uh, um Daniel Bryan was seen on the taping of SmackDown, so he was alright. Oh yeah, and they taped it afterwards. Yeah, but it's it's funny that a move like that because um, when Billy Kidman he used to do the Shooting Star Press, and he hurt so many people with it. Mm-hmm. He continued to use it, but oh, I mean, of course, yeah, well, that yeah, was... apparently there was a lot of like bad injuries that ha- or you know, really bad uh, landings that. Yeah, well, that was also back in the '90s when people didn't really know too much about Concussion. concussions. What's that? Yeah, so. <laughs> No quiet room. What? So they use in hockey when they get concussion, they have to go to the quiet room. <laughs> oh, didn't know that. Yeah. So, but yeah, um, that was SmackDown. SmackDown yeah, and, slightly more progressive than Raw was, I guess. Yeah. Again, I guess. Only time will tell. Yeah. I mean, I hate being uh, pessimistic. No, I was gonna say optimistic. Oh. All right, <laughs> because like, you know it's it, it's like everything else with this company. You, you get your hopes up. That's why you tune in every week. You're like, hey, maybe it's going to be different this week. Yeah, but no, I never learn. It never is. I still tune in. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, I think the reason why is because you bought the camera. I could do other things with the camera. I guess that's true. <laughs> maybe maybe that's it. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I they picked a bad time to do this. To do the shake up. Yeah, in quotes. <laughs> Um, what they should have done is let everything suck or continue to suck mm-hmm. till the beginning of next year yeah. when they're not pre-recording episodes. Right. And yeah, because people are going to be like, oh, yeah, I heard they're going to shake things up. Let me tune gonna in. Be, it's going to be crap for two weeks, yes. like you said. <laughs> so it, it's kind of like a waste of effort because if anything, is just going to d- discourage people. How much effort was actually put in? <laughs> not much at all, but you know what I mean. <laughs> We so. had to get Vince and Stephanie and Shane and Triple H all in the ring at the same time together. Yeah, that was they a lot hate of each other. Yeah, right. Dinners must be tense. <laughs> but where was Linda? That's the real question. She's she's got her own problems. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> we'll we'll leave it off at that. Yeah. So I think we're gonna take a break next week for the holiday because That's of fair. the taped shows. Yes. I guess we'll uh, we'll be back. Uh, was that January second? I guess. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, it would make sense. Yeah. So, all right. Very good. Yes. So that was episode 24 of the podcast. It was. <laughs> if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.